Take it away, Grant. Um, so we, uh, our civic engagement project was to develop a, a code camp to uh, teach youths, uh, some, well, yeah. There's three, three of us, three other people besides me in this project. So our original plan was to develop workshops for um, teens to learn some fundamentals about coding, uh, computer coding, um, you know, like, and uh, well, COVID happened right as we were um, gearing up and getting set up to start the, uh, the workshops. Um, we kind of had to find a new plan. And uh, with, uh, with some luck, we, we found a, a group in, uh, North, in North Minneapolis that were, that were doing something similar to what we planned to do with Heritage Park and the Green Garden Bakery. And then we joined their team to, uh, to help them create their workshops. Hello, I'm Leah with PPL. So uh, the Heritage Park Backpackers was a summer program for youth in North Minneapolis. They have a couple different types of programs that they offer to students like gardening, baking, art, and STEM classes for computers and technology skills. Our goal was to engage them during the summer with learning activities specifically related to STEM, like how different basics of programming work, how programming logic works, binary, things like that. Hi, I'm Rachel. Uh, I've been serving at PPL. Um, our rules were twofold. Um, first, we worked on researching STEM activities for youth uh, K through eighth grade uh, to give them uh, some fun summer activities um, that would also encourage a love for learning and support them in their future. Um, and then secondly, uh, to teach teens um, video production and post-production. Uh, since they were members also in the community, uh, the younger youth could recognize them and relate to them. So, um, like I was saying before, we, my name is Gregory Romero and I serve at Transcend IT. Um, we were trying to, you know, teach um, kids fundamentals of coding. So we kind of had to pivot a little bit with the workshops that we joined in after our original plan. Um, and we created uh, some unplugged activities that, that teach some of the, the basic concepts of coding. Um, and uh, we, we also gave them some uh, online activities to, to work through that would uh, help them understand STEM concepts and, and things like that. Hello, my name is Hodon. I have been serving as a CTEP member at Open Door Learning Center and Sumner Library. Both my sites are located in the Northside Minneapolis neighborhood. In my service in the community, I developed an interest in working with the youth at Northside, Northside's Heritage Park neighborhood. Our group worked with local youth leaders to teach video content creation. We assisted them in how to record and edit their videos. The videos were later used to teach the younger children how to do these fun activities at home. To view more videos and content by the youth, please visit our partner's YouTube channel, Green Garden Bakery Minneapolis. So thank you right. for coming to our presentation. Does anybody have any questions we could answer real quick? Let me check the chat. Here, somebody has a really cute cat. I'm jealous. <laughs> Joel, do you have a question to kick us off? Well, yeah, this is a similar question, like for Hodan or Greg, uh, for members that will be in the program, you, what, what does this kind of inspire you? You're both going to be in the program next year. What do you kind of see a second version of this or, you know, a way that you think you would be able to incorporate some of this in your service next year? Definitely. Um, I learned a lot working through these uh, workshops with uh, the Green Garden Bakery. Um, regarding uh, what's 
like what what uh the access that the youth have um the digital divide really kind of shown itself in in this project we ran into some problems where um we had plans to to do like workshops involving computers and then we we found out that uh that the youth didn't have access to computers because the school something happened with the schools and they had to turn them back in so you know you really have to be mindful of um what 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 the youth that you're trying to work with um have access to and also to try and find ways to overcome the digital divide that exists today Hodana, do you want to uh, respond to that question? Yeah, um, very similar to Greg. Um, I learned a lot doing this project, and I learned a lot more about the digital gap. If I would to take it, if I were to take it on next year, I think I would focus more on um, getting the technology to the children and making sure that they can um, access the resources that we plan to give them, which was something we wanted to emphasize. All right. Anybody else from the community want to ask a question? I know that uh, Lisa, I see, just made a comments. I think this would be great for this group to do an op-ed right now about the digital divide. We're so well positioned to speak out about this right now, along with some anecdotes about the youth. Okay. Yeah, I mean, um, it yeah, was, I found a little bit of frustration because I had planned um, to, to build um, a website for the youth to learn how to build using a content management system. Mm -hmm. And, um, and we just, we, I, I just kept running into um, barriers that, that really made it impossible for me to be able to do and share um, what I wanted to. Uh, so, it, and I learned, I learned that, you know, it, it threw it in my face. So I'm, I'm moving forward. Um, next year I'll be working with youth and, and technology. Um, I really have to be mindful of the gap that does exist and um, try to plan for that to be able to um, to help the, the youth, you know, have access to this type of uh, knowledge and uh, and technology. Okay. Well, thanks. Great. Thank you, Greg. Uh, thank you to all of the Code Camp group: Leah, Hodan, Rachel Moore. Uh, wonderful. We are gonna. Uh, wrap up the day here. Uh, so um, just some kind of uh, end comments for me that I want to make for the day. Uh, we're at the end of our time. I want to say a huge thank you to all of our dear CTEP members. Uh, I just want to say you are my continual daily inspiration as you strive to learn and make a difference in our society. And um, you know, in some ways, it seems really hard right now to make a difference, like especially when we're dealing with the restrictions over physical, uh, physical distancing. And I think your projects are just such a great example of like not letting that stop you. That there is still great ways to interact with the community, and it looks a little bit different right now. And I think that you have really been kind of the pioneers, especially I think for a lot of like the incoming members right now that are going to be starting in about month to kind of think about how they can be social agent change agents uh, in their uh, communities. So I mean a primary goal of our program is helping to develop community action leaders. I feel like our country needs this more now than ever uh, and I feel like there's kind of no better antidote to what I feel like can be off the overwhelming kind of emotion of helplessness of kind of the multiple levels of trauma right now of kind of our current political and social public health crises than just kind of to band together with your peers to put yourself out there and experiment with try to find a way to contribute. Um, so being part of this energy is I just want to say has, has kept me in this job for for so many years and I can't wait to see what the next generation is going to come up with for 2021. 
Um, I do want to just throw out, we have just one position left to fill for next year. Uh, so if you know somebody, it's not too late to, to tell them about it. Uh, the new group of members are going to be starting September 3rd, uh, in which I feel like could be kind of a polar opposite year of probably starting largely virtually and then finishing the year with in-person instruction. So, um, you know, again, we've learned so much from the current year about how to do this. Uh, it's going to be a grand adventure. And uh, we look forward to seeing many of you in the audience a year from now uh, when we do these presentations again. Uh, next August. And I'm an optimist. I'm uh, hopeful knocking on something that we can be doing these presentations next year in person, hopefully with bagels and some coffee, uh, smiles, and even possibly hugs. So I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but, um, you know, hope springs turtle. <laughs> so uh, I want to thank you again so much to all of our audience members uh, who spent so much of their Friday with us and enriching our presentations with your presence and questions. Um, for current members, if you want to just hang on uh, and not log off, but for all the other folks who've joined us, uh, we'll be saying goodbye now. Um, be well until next time. I think someone made a point. We are going to update all of the blog posts with resources that uh, members posted today. So um, we will uh, do our best to try to send an email out to everyone who participated in this with kind of those new resources that are up, and you can take a look at those project-based resources. So, so uh, yeah, current members, hang on. And for everybody else, be well. And until next time, thanks so much for participating with us today.